It's the new ISIS recruit. And she said, what? A head-turning accusation from the head of the Chicago Teachers Union. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. Fiery Teachers Union boss Karen Lewis took her red-hot rhetoric to a whole new level today, attacking Governor Rauner in a way that likely dashed her hopes of getting him to dig Chicago public schools out of its money pit. CBS 2's Derek Blakely takes a closer look at what she said in this developing story. Karen Lewis. Karen? In a luncheon speech at the City Club, Karen Lewis took her verbal assault on Governor Rauner to an entirely new level. Rauner is the new ISIS recruit. Has Homeland Security checked this man out yet? <laughs> because the things he's doing look like acts of terror on poor and working class people. Later, Lewis charged that Rauner is deliberately squeezing Illinois school children and the needy. I think he's holding people hostage. So who does that? Who does that? Because you can't get something else you want that has nothing to do with a budget? You know, I mean, it's like, it's ideological. That's terrorism. That is pure de-terrorism. Rauner has rejected higher taxes to fund Illinois' deficit unless pro-business reforms he's demanding are approved. In a brief statement, the governor replied, this kind of rhetoric has no place in American public discourse and sets a terrible example for our kids. And while Lewis blasted him in Chicago, we represent the 99%. In Springfield, CTU members joined other labor groups outside the governor's mansion, demanding a budget. We say fight back. Lewis insists she's simply telling it like it is. You know what? He talks about me all the time, so guess what? Gloves are off. Chicago School CEO Forrest Claypool today offered to engage in binding arbitration with the teachers union to reach a contract agreement. But Lewis flatly rejected that offer, calling it a publicity stunt. Contract talks resume tomorrow, with the clock ticking toward a possible strike that could be called late next month. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Erica? Derek, thank you.